I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll see what's coming up for the present time, second week of October. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Cancer, the recent past energy, Three of Swords and the Magician. Now, the Three of Swords, it's showing that there could have been an element of sorrow that would have been undeniable. But what's on the other side of this sadness or sorrow, it can be enhanced understanding and joy. So when you get the Three of Swords, it's important for you to allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or pain that comes up so that you can move past it. This can point to a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move forward. Because if you deny any pain, it will not make it go away. So it's important for you to allow yourself to experience any pain that came up, but don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough, and others, they cannot do this for you. Now, it's with the Magician, which is a card that signifies new beginnings, great expectations. It does remind us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in so many other areas of the world. If you simply try, just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself, because a magician is all about action. And if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something, because anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. So, Cancer, what I'm getting is that it looks like your person manifested this connection with you. Yeah, they could have been strategic. They could have planned planned it. They could have done some planning. Um, yeah, they wanted this connection with you. They manifested this connection, and you probably don't even know it. But that's what happened here. But it looks like the recent past energy between the two of you is that um, for some reason you two are you two had start to close each other off or it felt like um, there was rejection or you two or you two start to shut each other out. There was some relationship difficulty with the three of swords showing up here. So yeah, you might have, some of you severed ties with, with your person, or you just distanced yourself. Yeah, it was relationship difficulties, and it just felt like the two of you were closing each other off. But your person manifested this connection with you, and like I said, you probably don't even know it. But that's a recent past energy. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up. we got this Ace of Wands, and it's with the Emperor. Now, the Ace of Wands is actually about new beginnings, very positive ones. It could be in the area of accomplishments and could be related to work, career, family, romance. And if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are likely to get better very soon. Because the Ace of Wands, it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future with a really good cause. So you could start to feel really energetic and positive, or you'll be feeling that way soon. And I say soon because uh, this, this wand, you see the Ace of Wands, it's a card above the word present. It looks like it's just sitting above the clouds, but no, it actually burst above the the clouds. It burst ab above the clouds, really powerful and fast. Yeah, this card, it also tells you that now is a perfect time to start something new. Now, it's with the Emperor. The Emperor, it 
shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcomed. And that's what you need to think about when you get this card in a reading. And I say this because when hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and your focus because the emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is really not a, well, well, actually now is a good time. And you'll find it, it's a good time to find it easier to make hard choices. That's what I'm trying to say. So enjoy the assertiveness and the confidence that the self-control and focus brings. Do what you know is best. Because if you can master yourself, then you should have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. And I know you're probably saying, well, what does that mean? Well, plain and simple, the emperor is the type that um, uses, they use their head over their heart. So, they don't really like to come across as being vulnerable. This person could be a boss, a leader, or maybe just arrogant. There's a desire for power that this emperor has. So, coming up, like I said, Ace of Wands clarified by the emperor. So, it looks like because you and your person went through a difficult time with this Three of Swords here, they're still kind of stuck there. Yeah, they're still closed off. And because your person probably naturally has a, the type of energy whereas they don't really open up, it's probably feeling like it's even worse now. Yeah, they're, they're still kind of stuck in this, whatever, this sadness that happened between the two of you with this recent past energy. And like I said, if they were shut down before whatever happened, they're really shut down now. And yeah, they're really having a hard time opening up. Yeah, because this, the emperor naturally just doesn't just doesn't do emotions really well so yeah your person is is getting a double dose of closing down at the time at this time or coming up yeah like I said if they've seen if they seem cold before well they're gonna seem extra cold now but there's a new beginning that's trying to happen some fresh new start yeah something Beautiful is trying to happen, actually, for you and your person. But they can't really get, they seem to have, they're having more of a difficult time than you getting over what happened with this recent past energy heartbreak. Yeah, but I think that both of you know it's time for a new day, a fresh new start in this connection. So that is for the present time. Now let's move on over. Let's see what we got for the challenge. Well, we got the Ace of Swords and just with the Strength card. Now the Ace of Swords, it's kind of like the Ace of Wands. It's, when you get the Ace in a reading, it's about new beginnings. But since this one has a sword, it means that something has to be stopped. It could be leaving a job, a situation, a neighborhood. It could be leaving something or cutting something out. And it brings you to a new beginning. Some powerful new beginning. But it comes with cutting something out or just putting it, putting a stop to something. That's how you get the new beginning. And it could be new beginnings on several levels. Yeah. So it's with the strength card. Now the strength card, with, when this shows up in a reading, it could be an important time for you to meditate, contemplate, Spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you got a lot of kids. But make sure you don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. And I say this because the outward things, they'll be going all right. But what's most important is keeping your head on straight 
Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So it's about conquering any fears, control your impulses, and never losing patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. Okay, so the challenge, Ace of Swords, clarified by the Strength card. So your person, they are really wanting to get over what happened. That's why you got two, two aces here. But they're struggling the most of trying to get over and get on with things. Yeah. So they realize that they have to cut, cut it out. Cut off being closed out and guarded. And they realize that they need to open up more. But they're struggling. The emperor just doesn't do it. So your person knows what they, they need to do. So that you two can have some great new beginning. And it looks like they want to, but it's not the character. So they probably can't figure out how to do it. And if they figured, they figured, if they figured out how to do it, they probably wouldn't do it right. So anyway, they know that they need to stop it so that you two can move forward. They do want a new beginning and a fresh start. They want to get over whatever sadness or heartbreak or hurt that took place in the recent past with the two of you. Because they know once they do this, once they put a stop to holding back and just open up, they know that you two will have a new fresh start on several levels and then the, the connection will be mutually supportive again and it will be strong again like it once was so life will be it'll feel like life is breathing back into the connection and the two of you can go back to living your best life but there's a struggle here because the emperor they usually have a the most difficult time opening up or coming out of something that was hurtful. So they really shut down. Mm. But they want they want this connection to come back to life and be mutually supportive and strong again. That's that's a good thing. But that is the challenge. So let's see what the outcome is. Now we got the two of wands. And with the Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, it could be important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. It can indicate a partnership with another person. It could be business, personal, or both. It does remind us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So if you're feeling out of balance now, just know that things are about to get substantially better. But it's about keeping your eyes on the prize. And it's with the Queen of Pentacles. Now the Queen of Pentacles, it's a card that indicates that you could be spending time, money, and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. And this is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. People could be looking to you for insight, maybe some advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This is also a time period when you can get a whole lot accomplished. So the outcome two of wands with the Queen of Pentacles. Two of wands, just, just, just to clarify it a little, just to explain it a little bit more for you. Uh, it, the picture pretty much says it all. If you can see the Two of Wands, it's above the word outcome. This, this man, he has two wands, one to the right and one to the left. And he's more focused towards the wand to the left. Or, yeah, from where you're looking, the wand to the left. He has an ankle tied to that wand. And he's smiling at a bird. He's looking into the eyes of a bird towards that wand. And he's got his back turned to the other wand. 
but his hand is tied there. His hand is tied to the wand on the right. So there's more focus, more interest in one direction. Two of Wands, it could be about two paths towards the future, two options towards the future. And, but one sparks your interest, one sparks your interest more than the other. So, the outcome, this two of wands, well, it looks like your person is just going to try to make a choice. The person you're dealing with. They could have two options, which which I'm which is this reading is saying that they do. They could stay stuck in the heartbreak where their hand is tied, where this person's hand is tied. Their hand is tied to the heartbreak, but they know if they let they know if they, they let go of the sadness. The rejection or the hurt, the pain that you two went through. They know if they let go that um, they could, um, the, the connection could go in a much better direction. So they're trying to decide or trying to work it out so that they can choose the one that's on the left. Whereas this guy is smiling and looking to the eyes. They want to look into your eyes again. And smile and be connected with you. Because right now all they have is one hand tied to you. Like he does with this other one and, he, and his back is turned. So that's your person up there. They want, they really, really want to come out of whatever hopelessness and disappointment that the two of you had in the recent past. They really want to step out of it. And they know because the Queen of Pentacles, they know it's going to bring, bring about new beginnings. And it's going to bring about a lot of comfort in the connection and peace to the connection. So your person is working on it, Cancer. Yeah, they do want to snap out of it. But like I said, the Emperor really struggles when some something hits the fan because they well, they don't show no emotion they really close themselves off so good luck with that but the good thing is that your person knows that they need to step out of it and they're wanting they're wanting to um they want they want to do it yeah cuz just take a look at two of wands this person wants to look in your eyes again And be connected with you like you used to. And right now, they know they just have their hand tied to the connection, and that's about it. So your person is working on it. And like I said, it's a character flaw. It's a personality flaw. They just, some people just don't do emotions really well. So good luck to you and your person. I hope that you enjoy the reading. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate. But if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I will also put a link below for... Personal readings, if you'd like to try one of those, so Cancer, I thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for all my new subscribers and all my old subscribers. It really helps my channel to grow, so I don't want to leave that out. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe and strong during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass, and we'll all get through this. So... Please come back and check out the next cancer reading, which will be in about another four or five days, just in case this does not resonate. 
maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, these readings, they are general readings. They are not personal readings. So, some of my subscribers say, well, if I'm not dealing with anyone, how could this reading be? Well, you have to take it for how it resonates. Because, like I said, they're general readings. So, if you're not dealing with anyone, it could be... You could be, this could be a family member you're connected to. It could be a friend or a co-worker. Yes, it can be someone else other than a love interest. So I can never say enough, Cancer. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day. Take care.